Hi everyone, my name is Kathleen and today I'm going to be showing you how to do your own pinprick art. So in the 1700s and 1800s, pinprick art was popular where you would use a pin to create a design and then create, you can have a card or some type of artwork. This was a craft that could be done at home and was done by both men and women. What you will need for this craft is cardstock, the design you would like to use, something to attach your design to the paper, something to make your design with. I found push pins work very well, but you can also use regular pins or even a sharpened pencil. And then any other decorations you would like for your card. You will also need to make sure you have something to put your card on while you are making your design. I'm using some folded felt as my backing. So what you're going to do first is fold your card in half. And on the inside of it, you're going to put your design. That way, once your design is done, it shows from the other side. And then you're just going to use a little bit of tape or whatever else you're using to attach your design to the inside so it does not move while you're doing it. Then you're going to take what you're going to use to puncture the paper and start following the lines on your design. You can space them as far or as close as you'd like, but make sure not to put them right next to each other so your paper doesn't actually push out the design. Once you are finished with your design, remove your tape gently and take off the paper. And then you can see you have your design right on the front. And then you can add whatever other decorations you would like to your card. I'm just gonna add some ribbon along the side. You can do hole punches and actually feed it through the hole punches or you can just tie it from the inside of the card and make yourself a nice little bow. And you have your very own pinprick art.